Hi everyone, I'm Shauna and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some makeup and I did not buy anything. Everything is already in my collection, but I'm trying out products that have either been sitting in my collection and I've never tried. There are some things with a safety seal on it. And then I'm also trying things that I like maybe don't have an opinion about or it's been a really long time since I've used it and I guess I also don't know how I feel about it. So uh, I'm just going to show you some of the options that I'm going to be uh, using today. It's mostly a full face. The only things that are not new or going to be regular are going to be my eyebrow products, my mascara, eyeliner. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and powder. I don't have any powders to play with. But I'm going to be trying out some maybe new techniques. So let me show you. Okay, so for the base, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, or uh, Matte Lock Primer. Use this a couple of times, so I don't actually know how I feel about it, so we're gonna play with that. And then I have both of my It Cosmetics CC Creams. Now, I brought both of these here to show you. Um, these are both the shade Light, and as you can see, they are not the same color. So I wanted to use this one because it's the matte well, matte color but <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be too dark and just like in the tube the regular color looks a little bit more my speed or lo looks like it'll match better so I'm gonna swatch them both oh no this one doesn't have a safety seal I've already taken it off and I guess looked at the color but this one has a safety seal this is the matte one and then I also have the infallible uh, concealer. I'm pretty sure I used this one time and felt like it was super dewy so we're gonna try that out. It's a really really big tube so we're gonna try play with that. As for blush I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty blush and I felt like it would also be a good opportunity to try the um, little lipstick but I'm actually thinking that with the look today I'm gonna wear this lipstick. It's the Revlon shine in glowing coral it feels like a really nice kind of spring color and then for the eyeshadow i want to play with the huda beauty nude light palette i have not used it yet there she is and i'm kind of excited to play with her so i also brought the flutter by palette but i want to use the, the hood palette and then i have a couple of esca products that i also would like to use so let's get started. Right, we'll start with that amount of primer. I am just using the viewfinder here so I apologize for looking to the side. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because I do like the makeup bag, the everyday makeup bag that I selected uh, back in March. I do think there's going to be like a rotation kind of happening with that in just a little bit but one of the things that I guess makes me the most anxious about my makeup collection is just not using what I have. And so when you have, you know, like an everyday makeup bag, oh, it's really dry there. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so dry. Wow, okay, the right in between my eyes is very, very dry. I did not notice that. Anyways, so the feeling of this is not very mattifying. It's a little sticky. Not, I don't want to say, no, sticky is not the right word. Maybe a little, a little tacky. My fingers don't get like stuck to my face when I touch it, but there's just a little tackiness. I think that's a bit weird for something that calls itself mattifying, but it's not, it's not a bad feeling and I like it better so far than the the First Aid Beauty matte primer. This does not feel matte, but I do like the texture. I hate when products do that though. So I'm gonna do a little swatch of the two It Cosmetics uh, foundations that I have. I've never used either of these. Wow, okay, these are super, this is the um, regular CC cream. And then this one back here is the matte. And you can really tell the textures are different. But when you swatch them, they don't look 
they don't look super different like just a little bit <laughs> they're both too dark <laughs> are we gonna do it okay i'm gonna go with the regular cc cream i really wanted to try the um the matte but we'll do the regular one first and it's just a slightly better match I'm just starting with this amount and I tend to use a lot of product. It's very thick. I didn't actually expect it to be that thick and it's the first time I'm using the product. So let's try her out. Everybody has said that this is a pretty, has more coverage than you might think. Like, okay, I know we're not a good shape match. I get it, <laughs> um, but I can't believe this is the shade light. It's pretty dark. It has a smell. I can't put my finger on it. Almost citrusy, but not quite as citrus. How would you describe the smell of this product? I also think it's important to note right about here that I have oily skin. So I used up the amount and I just put in a, a little bit more. I'm definitely dealing with a little bit of breakouts. My skin was so good for a while and then uh, all the stress happened. <laughs> and then uh, not eating great. I'm just trying to blend it down. I think the match does look a little bit better in person. It looks like really wild on camera. So if you're like, why are you not freaking out? <laughs> because it's not great, but not horrible. This is applying really, really nicely. And it's kind of surprised me. I've heard a lot of people talk about this over the years, but always thought that it was never, never for me. If they have like a fair shade, I would definitely want that, but they don't have it in a mini. So far, I'm gonna pull up my mirror. It is definitely like dewy. Well, not dewy, but like if you touch it, you're gonna get product. So we're definitely gonna need to powder this, but I powder everything. So we're gonna take some of the concealer right here. There we go. The shade though, but the fact that they call that light, I think is wild. I don't know if, it, if that would be medium, but it just feels kind of dark. Everything just feels a little bit more normal now. We're just gonna give that a minute. And as I was saying earlier, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because it makes me uncomfortable knowing that like I have things in my collection that just sit around because I'm somebody who could just use a makeup bag like I have here for months or just use items in a project pan for months and then not use anything else and that's kind of what has happened with me in the past the past well, last year and this year I'll work on panning something and then only use that one lipstick for a year those two or three lip products for a year or that foundation and so I think what I would like to do is maybe my shop, my stash is just a singular makeup look where I play with my products and try them out in new combinations instead of like creating a new makeup bag because that for me, so I like using what I like on the regular and I know what some of my favorites are, but there's some things that I don't know how I feel about. And so this concealer as an example didn't go in the makeup bag because I don't know how I feel about it and then it sits there because it's also not in a project pan and then you have lots of product categories like that so if I use my non makeup bag items a couple times a month literally once or twice is good enough play with them and then I can make decisions are they favorites are they declutters are they you know put in a project pan later and then even that even if I know how I feel about everything in my collection, that still doesn't mean the product is gonna get used. So these kinds of videos just help use the use what I have and just kind of make sure like I'm using all of my lipsticks or all of my foundations. And that just ultimately makes me feel better. So I'm going in with the Seal the Deal powder. One of the things I noticed is that um, right up at the top, 
I was noticing whenever I applied powder, the, um, the foundation would like rub off. And I was using this brush. It's still a little bit dirty from last time I was using it. But if you look at this brush and you go like this, it's very, it's like a hard, I don't want to say hard, but it's like one kind of impact, right? Whereas this brush is, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit more softer because of the tip. Whereas this is just like firm, like you can't really be soft with it. Whereas this one, I think you can. So this one, I think because of the action of like going like this, it consistently rubbed off foundation, even matte ones. That's not what you want. <laughs> you don't want your foundation to rub off because of the brush you're using. And I think it's the brush. I'm just gonna go everywhere with this. So yesterday I tried using this powder first and then going in with this one. Um, just to get that basic coverage because this just like isn't enough. It's not mattifying enough, but it's soft enough to be able to kind of go in first and not disrupt what's underneath. And as you can see, it's not like pilling or disrupting the foundation at all up at the top. It's just mattifying. Uh, so I could probably do this with the pressed powder as well. But because I'm trying to use up this powder, we're just going to go in with this first. And I really do like uh, the use of this in this kind of capacity. I also get the rubbing off on the nose. The same thing happens when I go in with powder. It always, always, always rubs off. Yeah, can you see? I think the only way to prevent that is to um, put powder on underneath. Which I think I might just have to get into the habit of doing regularly. But I, I do want to say, let's come up close. I have not powdered the under eye and it sat for a little while and it's not really creasing. It's not doing much of anything, which never happens. It's actually kind of a big brush. We're going with the smaller brush, same powder to get into some of those smaller lines and crevices. I also notice that right here, this area right here, whenever I put concealer on and then powder, it always like, product comes off like the foundation underneath. There's nothing I've been able to really find to, um, to stop that. Okay, we're good. I'm still tacky. I'm still tacky. Whenever I, uh, whenever I watch myself on camera, like apply makeup, which is not all that much, now or i don't mean now which hasn't been all that much i always knew that i used a lot of powder and when i was going to school like every day i would use a pressed powder like every six weeks and i just like would fly through them just fly through them and you know since staying at home well since starting to work at home over the past couple of years it's been a little bit slower and then especially over the past couple of months, like exclusively working from home, it's been a little bit slower. In my opinion, I don't know if it's just me, let me know in the comments, but I find that pressed powder provides a more mattifying effect than a loose powder. And that's just not, I've tried a lot of loose powders, or at least I feel like I have, or I've tried enough to know. And no matter what brush I use, I always feel like the mattifying effect with pressed powder is just more. And one of the reasons why I don't like loose powder is like, I get it everywhere. Can you see? It's also like, it's just all over my shirt. I'm done. A lot of powder. But I cannot stand having tacky skin. It gets everywhere. And then I get really uh, oily really quickly. So far, I really like the way that it makes my skin look. I like the coverage. I have nothing bad to say about it right now, other than I had to use just a little bit more powder than normal. So now let's go in with the Vesca bronzer. I have the shade, there she is. I have the shade Kissed by Santorini. And I think, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this, that they no longer ship to Canada and I did get that 
confirmation not from the brand but from somebody else who got pr from the brand and reached out to them which is such a bummer canadian brand headquarters in toronto that doesn't ship to their own country the thing i really the thing i really like about this bronzer is that it's super blendable it does have a little bit of a smell it smells like not quite sunscreen but like summertime products i wish i could i wish i could describe that maybe a little bit like self tannery if you smell this please let me know <laughs> so now it's time for the blush um i watched all the rare beauty videos with the blush so i did just a couple of dabs and i'm gonna try it with this this is my favorite like stippling uh oh no no that did not go well at all do we see <laughs> i think you have to use a sponge with this uh <laughs> it left can we see it left spots straight up spots okay um this is i didn't say this, this is in the shade bliss i'm a little nervous about this because we just powdered but let's no that's not happening okay let's try again with the fingers because i would hate like i think this color is really beautiful i think the color is really beautiful but it's just not really blending out a little bit but that's kind of taken but it doesn't look that great honestly i'm gonna do the same thing with the other side just to kind of be consistent okay i do think the stipple brush was a bad idea and it looks a little bit better with just the fingers but it's taking like a lot of a lot of building everybody said that these blushes were super pigmented um, it looks okay. The formula seems really finicky. What I'm actually going to do, because I feel like this side is a little bit more splotchy than this side. I'm going to take my hourglass powder. And I'm going to mix these two together. And I'm just going to go over that area. Because... It's just, it's looking a little bit splotchy, and I think it's just going to help blend that out a bit. Not great, <laughs> but I think you can still see it. Okay, that was disappointing. Uh, now let's go on to the highlighter. This is the Vesca Highlight in Moonlight, and I'm just going to take this. It's the Real Technique Setting Brush. I'm just going to dip that in there. Very, I guess, subtle blush look. I really do like this highlight. And I really like, uh, in fact, like how small it is. I feel like every highlight should be in a small pan. We don't really go through all that much. I use two products. I use the Essence first and then in this one second. I would usually just do one, but I don't like the color of this just alone. And I do actually get a lot of questions about my eyebrows. So in my opinion, this color alone just does not match. So we're going to also do a little bit of the Anastasia one. I don't actually like this. Uh, I think it's just okay. I do also want to provide just a little bit of an update while we're here. Um, my grandfather, as I had said, my, both my grandparents have COVID. I filmed that maybe a week ago, maybe a little bit less than that. And at that point, um, I think I had said that an ambulance came to their house. Um, but I didn't have all the information. Um, the ambulance, he told us that he was fine. So 
the ambulance went away. But it turned out the ambulance told my grandfather he needed to go to the hospital and then he refused. And so he didn't go. Anyways, two days later, he ended up in the hospital. It's almost like a thank goodness because he has been refusing treatment and refusing to go to the hospital and basically telling everybody I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine saying like oh yeah I don't have a fever I'm feeling fine when he was actually just getting worse and he wasn't resting or doing any of the things you're supposed to do so he got worse and then went to the hospital whole you know charade there and he has pneumonia and there was like a scary moment a couple days ago two days ago Sunday it's Tuesday morning now we were told that, you know, things are getting bad. You need to, like, prepare for the worst. And we were asked, like, do you want life-saving measures to be taken? So my mom and I are going through the will. Like, it's just kind of, like, a scary moment when doctors are telling you things aren't looking good. But uh, he pulled through, and it was, like, I don't know, it was a really weird turn. He got really bad really fast, like between one day and, and another. Stopped eating, stopped walking, can't see, can't hear, has pneumonia. And then the next day, he's feeling better. He's able to walk. He's, it was very strange. So he's feeling better. And he called us for like the first time. He's been in the hospital, I think, four days now. And he called us and we heard him for the first time. And he doesn't sound good. But... He's at least in the hospital getting the care that he needs, so that is relieving. I'm now going to go into the Huda palette. So I'm going to go in, I'm doing, I'm a very simple eyeshadow gal. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. None of the shades have names, so we're going to go in there. I also, um, oh, I think that needs just a little bit of powder, so we'll go in with this middle shade right there. So I've also been uh, looking at places and I actually was able to go see a couple um, with like some safety measures in place, which was okay and I felt pretty safe. I found a place that I like and um, I did see it on Sunday. It was actually like it was an empty house, like all the whole house was empty. Like no people, no furniture, no nothing. And they did a really good job like sanitizing and cleaning. Anyways, uh, my partner and I went to go see it. And I really love it. I really, really do. And it's like rents where we live are so expensive. That like they just don't justify the price. And it was like the affordable place out of everything that we were looking at so far. So I really, really like it. And I've also been looking at virtual tours. A lot of places will do virtual tours. And that just like helps... Um, like just narrow things down <laughs> so that place has just like really stuck out in my mind especially after seeing a few other ones and also seeing more vir more virtual tours as well so I went to go contact the guy we were doing some negotiating so I told the guy um, that I could do June 1st and he was like May 15th May 15th and I basically like I could I guess technically move out for then well no I couldn't I could I guess sign a lease for then and move out a couple days or weeks later so that was Sunday night like 6 p.m. it's now Tuesday morning uh, 8 o'clock the ad has been taken down I don't know when and the guy has not returned my text so I think the place has been rented which would be devastating because I really liked it but there will be more places. <laughs> you know, I have to remind myself of that. And things are just like in the area that I'm at. They're just like, things go really quick. There was one place that I was interested in. And it was like listed on Friday and sold that day. I will keep looking. And I guess like maybe it's not horrible that I may have to wait. I, mean, I don't know, like you just don't know. Something may appear and then you sign in a couple of days. You know, you, I guess you just don't know, but it kind of feels like maybe I'll be waiting, but you don't want to rush it, right? You don't want to, you don't want to rush something and then regret it later. I got a really good vibe from that guy. I really liked him and he seemed like really reasonable 
I don't know, maybe we did not seem reasonable because we were just really trying to negotiate. Maybe he found people who were just like, yes, it is what it is. I'll take it. I don't know. Whoa, these shimmers. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? It's... Um... I did not... Well, okay, 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 okay. Let me just uh, arraign that I went to him. I went... Nope. Ah! <laughs> okay, let me just uh, rein this in a bit. I'm gonna go in now. What was I using? I put it back. I don't know why I put it back. I'm gonna go back in with that uh, matte shade to try and like blend some of this out. Wow. This palette surprised the heck out of me. Okay, I blended it out a bit. I like it much better now. It's more my speed, but still like, I wouldn't call these shimmers. They're like glitters. They're very glittery, very, very glittery. So I ended up using, uh, just to show you, I ended up using this one right here. I swatched all three and I kind of like this one the best. So I would definitely next time use this one right here. This palette is one that's just like, it's a little outside my comfort zone. So there is that purple right there. And I think this is kind of more my speed than that huge uh, Huda Beauty palette that was just too big and too many things I didn't like. And so um, I do like all of, like everything, this one is, the out of the box color and I would be interested in playing with that in the future. So we're gonna do mascara now. So I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Lash Craft first. I have, this really surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I don't really like, I don't really like these natural wands, especially in this shape. My favorite mascara of all time, um, I haven't used it in a few years because uh, as you may know, I was cruelty free for a while and it was the L'Oreal Telescopic. That one was my favorite mascara uh, before I was cruelty free and I have not purchased it yet. I also like the Lash Sensational because it did remind me of Roller Lash, which I really like Roller Lash and I also really like the Ilia mascara, they only have one but I do not buy high-end mascaras. So um, I think my first mascara is going to be either L'Oreal Telescopic or the Maybelline, I think it's called the, the Limitless Lash. The Limitless Lash. It's the one in the pink tube that is like the one like back in 2015 everyone was calling a dupe for Roller Lash. There's one coat. <laughs> I also, um, just a little update, my friend Mio and I were, um, we like video call each other the other day. We were talking for like two hours. That, so nice to talk to. They're like my first YouTube friend that I've made. And then we've been like talking and updating and uh, each other and you know, they've been helping me kind of through the situation that's been going on right now and uh, everything that's kind of happening in my life and like helping me make sense of it all and they've been dealing with some things too. So it was so nice to talk face to face with like somebody that you met online. Yeah, they're very cool. I really, really enjoyed that conversation a couple days ago. So the other mascara that I use is this uh, Mineral Fusion Length Lengthening Mascara. I don't like this one. It looks like the, um, you know that Maybelline Great Lash? That's what this wand reminds me of. Doesn't do a whole lot, which is why I kind of use it as the second mascara. I am, I don't love this a lot. I know, what am I saying? I don't really like this. Uh, I don't hate it, it's usable, and it kind of helps kind of comb out the lashes. Because this is like mediocre, I'm very excited to use it up to get my favorite <laughs> mascara. Okay.
Um, now let's do the lips. No, eyeliner. I realized recently this eyeliner is going to be gone sooner than I expected. Which makes me very happy. So we're going to do the inner corner highlight. I've talked about this before. I just used one for years. This is the current one. And um, I, okay, so I do want to say, I know it's coming at the end of the video, but better late than never. I really wanted to thank everybody who just said like such nice kind things in my no buy intro and when I when I posted my first my first I don't know what that was my first no buy I was super um nervous about it because it was my first video on YouTube and I wasn't sure how people would you know take to it or take to me and even just the no buy project in general it was a little like Am I doing it right? Are people going to want to follow me? You know, just some doubts. But this time around, I was like, this is what I need. And I was like super confident in it and like posting it and like it is what it is. No, I shouldn't say that. I was confident in the decision. Like I believed in the decision. Not that it is what it is, but I believed in the decision. So it was like, if you want to follow it, great. If not, fine. I'm using my uh, lip liner in silk from Ofra, and you all just left such sweet comments and nice comments and just very supportive. Um, a couple of curious cats in there, but that's to be expected. And I just want to say I really appreciate uh, all of your all of your kindness. And support and not just in that video but you know I feel like I, I felt like I spilled my guts in that video it was cathartic um, and I just kind of said what I could say and what I wanted to say what I felt comfortable saying we're not gonna go in with this guy it's actually more pink Sorry, it is, so it's called a coral, and it's a little bit more red than I was expecting, not pink. I really like that. Very shiny, very emollient. I really like that. Um, I kind of think that it goes with this monochrome kind of it's not totally monochrome but it would have the blush print a little bit stronger would have matched a little bit better my thoughts on what I tried um this concealer surprised the heck out of me I think it's looking really good really good maybe even dare I say better than the mac looking really awesome really really love this I'm kind of want to put this into a makeup basket this foundation looks nice so far, but what's going to matter most is how oily I get with it, which I won't know for the future, but I really, really like the coverage and the consistency. It looks really natural. It doesn't cover up all the redness and scars, but most things don't. So one of the things I do just, one of the things I look for with foundations or I'm particularly cognizant of is right here and then up top here. I have deep set lines that have kind of been there since I was in high school and most things will settle in there. This did. Not the best though uh, but also not the worst. So that's okay. And then here I'm already starting, not on this side, so I'm already starting to get a little bit of breakup right there. Just about most things will settle in there. Um, the lipstick I haven't used it since I bought it and I think this is a really really great uh, formula texture and color I think it's really really fabulous for spring and summer and I think it's one of those looks that like it's like a subtle punch of color and it's very in in real life it's more pink than it's appearing on camera it's appearing more red in real life but either way, I think it's a really beautiful coral color 
And there was a Charlotte Tilbury shade that I have been looking at called Karina Star that's also a coral. I think it's a little bit more pink. But uh, one of the things I've realized since trying this, it's been on my wish list for about six months now. One of the things I realized by trying this out today is that I think that formula would have been more thicker and full coverage. And this one is much more sheer and I still get that coral look. So I think I would prefer this formula over that one just based on my preferences right now. Although I can't say for sure unless like I swatched it or something, which you know won't happen anytime soon. So having this and wearing it, trying it out and like just owning this color makes me really happy and like not want to purchase that. And like, I like this coral option that I have. So very, very pleased with this and would absolutely recommend this formula. Um, 10 out of 10, I would recommend. This nude light palette, um, I really like what I've tried so far. It has more of that like purpley kind of dusty undertones than pinks. Um, but I mean like, you know that when you see it. The, um, the shimmers in here to me perform a little bit different than the gold than the gold palette. Those ones are more stiff and I would say less pigmented. They almost feel like a topper, some of them anyways. These ones, at least the ones that I've swatched so far, are really opaque and kind of thick. And like when you swipe it, it's kind of glittery. The ones in the gold palette, I don't want to call them translucent, but I feel like there's like a base pigment and then something on top and then it kind of get glitters on top. Whereas this one is like kind of thick, one swipe, really glittery and not shimmery. So definitely a more of a different look for me. I kind of, I, I did manipulate it to something that I like, um, but these shimmers are like in your face. And something that I don't like own in my collection, it does make me want to play with the gold palette more and more of their shimmers to get more of a feel of that. But this was a really great first try for this palette. Really like that. This primer here, I'm going to have to, you know, play with this more, I think. But I wasn't sure how I was feeling about it and almost wanted to declutter it. But I'm glad that I didn't. I don't find this mattifying, but um, I like the texture that it does bring to the table. I like, I, I like it. And I think it helps the makeup kind of adhere because of that tackiness. This, I'm going to have to play with it more. I think, you know, this is the first time and usually with foundations, I have to wear them a couple of times to get my, my full thoughts on them. I can tell just in that hour since applying it, it's already looking just a, a little bit dewy, a little bit, not to the touch where like makeup is coming off. But I am kind of suspecting it's not going to wear all that great throughout the day. This one feels like it might be more of a winter kind of foundation because of the, the texture. And if this one is more mattifying, I really think I'm going to like this one. When you see everything together, I don't think that you would look at me and say, wow, her foundation doesn't match. As for this blush, this is another one that's going to have to be worn again because I do think that it the optimal application is going to be with the fingers, um, but I think because I had put the, the brush down first, it made things look a little bit more patchy than this side when I just use my fingers and I might have to layer it. I guess I was expecting more pigment than what I got because people talked so highly about how pigmented these blushes were and little went a long way. On this cheek, you saw me dot it and I think the best option is to put it on the back of the hand first and then go in. And I think um, with a little bit of a stronger blush look, it, it is a coral blush and you can tell with that swatch, it matches the, the lip product really nicely. I'm really feeling this look, really feeling myself. Um, this kind of like first impressions video trying eye makeup went really well. Uh, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again around here soon. Bye.